I am now occupied with more important What if Rolf proposed to Liesel? Oh, I like that. Jambo, it today I've got a really intriguing what if scenario for us to dive into. Um, I've been thinking about the sound of music and there's one aspect that I think that could be changed to add more depth and realism to the story. What if Rolf proposed to Liesel? Instead of Rolf losing interest in Liesel and suddenly, kind of out of nowhere, becoming a full-fledged Nazi sympathizer who betrays the Von Trapps, imagine if their romance continued and became a significant source of conflict. Liesel would find herself torn between her love for Rolf and her loyalty to her family. Essentially, what if Liesel became a Nazi? Oh, mate, that's great. I love that. Yeah, so these are the reasons that I decided to go for this particularly. Um some of the flaws I found with the film. Rolf's character development. So in the original, he is rather suddenly losing interest in Liesel and didn't feel like it was particularly well fleshed out. More, he goes from throwing stones at a window. They are very much on a collision course to getting together to mm. now I'm Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. <laughs> you know, it I get that the Nazi, we need, to, we need to be clear, there's Nazis in this, but come on. <laughs> he can still be in love. <laughs> right, <laughs> <laughs> so his transformation from a charming young man into a cold-hearted Nazi feels abrupt and lacks depth. The jarring betrayal scene. So the scene at the end where Rolf lets the Von Trapps go, but then sounds the alarm. Another thing that I found quite jarring. This isn't so much a character bit, but one of the elements that I, I think we could change with this okay. one thing I change. Um, the underdeveloped Nazi plotline. So this, again, is more an issue with the film that we spoke about I know, before. Um, the Nazi threat felt very shoehorned into the latter half of the film. We know that they has to be Nazis because it's based on a real story with Nazis. But what we got was basically a three quarters of a very good love story and then very minimal seed sowing of the Nazi threat that's going to essentially be <laughs> like a whirlwind of the last quarter of the film. So how do we make that more developed? We can use this love story. Um, and then finally, the realism aspect. So this is more of an, it's not that uncommon of films of that time, but seeing as we are a bit later on, why not use the knowledge we have to have more interesting layered characters? So it's, I felt in this very much goodies versus baddies. The Von Trapps, we're good as gold, white as white. Yep. And then Nazis bad, Rolf bad. Okay. Right. So what about if people were a bit more nuanced? Like this that. is something that you could do by having the subplot actually be integrated into a love story. So how does it work? Secret proposal. So you said, when would this happen? Yes. Any ideas? Uh, my guess is you're going to say like in the first bits of the film. I like, felt the 16 going on 17 is yeah. their like longest actual time together. Yeah. I was toying with the idea of like, having a secret marriage, like a Game of Thrones Ooh. style secret wedding. But I don't really know how those worked in those times. <laughs> I know they work in fantasy stories. But yeah. So okay. I went, what about 16 going on 17? Instead of them kissing at the end, which was also a bit weird, I must say. Yeah. What about they prop what he proposes? Okay. Maybe it could be leading to that. So another thing... In, in terms of the storyline, I reckon it's received with some initial positivity. It's in mirroring the sort of um, unrequited, maybe not unrequited, but it's mirroring the love affair between um, Maria and uh, Georg von Trapp. Yep. Like we've actually got the, the Demi love affair going on with the kids. Quite a nice tie-in. Maria's probably feeling some level of sympathy towards Liesl's situation. So at first, I imagine it's it's... Uh, something that is welcomed and um, then we can lay some groundwork for some tension so in the first half of the film the only real seeds of the nazism that get laid out are at the party where he has that confrontation with the mm -hmm. character who ends up being kind of the driving force for austrian nazism whereas what i'd like to do is maybe have rolf included in the party because mm. he's liesel's fiance yeah and then maybe he starts to have the antagonism and more of a scene is built up yeah from it so it's still in the first half we're still we, we don't have to just have three quarters of the film is von trapp love story then nazi we can intersperse yeah 
maybe an argument at the party. And at this argument, Liesel has to choose. And maybe she goes with Rolf Ooh, at that okay. point. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe she goes with Rolf. And then by the second half of the film, there's almost a mini time skip where they're on a month on their okay. long honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they come back and Liesel's a bit more... She shaved her head <laughs> and got tattoos all over her face. <laughs> yeah. Liesel's <laughs> toe in the party line. <laughs> Where did your go? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Continue. So, effectively though, yes, Liesel's shaved her head <laughs> and she's an uber Nazi. <laughs> to her own fucking beaters. No, I, I, I don't think Lisa will become... I don't think we change... We don't have to, but you could. I personally wouldn't say that we change Liesel's character that much. Yeah, I also okay. think it's good that they don't get married. Okay. Because you have a few options there. Basically, you could say Liesel doesn't go as far as Rolf. Or you could say Liesel then decides to go full Nazi. Mm-hmm. Or you say, mm-hmm. Rolf, does he turn? Does he run away with them? Yeah. If you haven't proposed, you, you've actually put the le- the statement of intent about their, you know, matrimony and their relationship mm-hmm. rather than him randomly just ditching her because now the Nazi party is way more important to him. For sure. So now they are, there's more ties both sides yeah. around the whole emotional conflict of it. So... <laughs> she's in this situation and instead of the climactic scene again feeling quite rushed so out of nowhere okay this is convenient that we can be the von trapp family singers with max setting us up i mean that whole last sequence seems to flash by out of nowhere yeah so in this one we've had the arguments taking place and maybe the um maybe liesel decides that rolf is going a bit too far with it Mm -hmm. and she has to make the decision based on Rolf's actions rather than just one interaction where he's a bit cold to her. She could see he's going too far with the Hitler stuff. She starts to side back with her father and she decides to escape with them. Yeah. Break off the union. And then the climactic scene in the graveyard. Yeah. Now, instead of it just randomly being a bit of a mano e mano between Captain Von Trapp and Rolf. Yeah. It could be Liesel and Rolf, which feels a lot more like a natural reason for him to stop and not report them at first. And if, maybe I'll throw this to you, if we were in that situation, or if that was the situation that happened in the film, how would you see it playing out? So you've got the family are escaping in the background Mm. with Liesl facing... This time Liesl's there with Rolf. And she's sort of asking him to run away with them, probably. You would expect she'd at least try that to begin with, wouldn't she? Come come with us. And and that's it. The difference there is, does he come with them? Because it's... So maybe that's the decision. Or maybe he lets them go without sounding the alarm. Yeah. You don't have the nuns, don't... That's a funny sequence, so maybe you can keep that anyway. The nuns slashing their tires or yes, removing their, yeah, yeah, yeah. removing yeah. elements of their their cars. Um, but what did just feel kind of weird in that confrontation is, okay, Captain Von Trapp gets the gun out from him. That's fine, but then he just randomly like insults him, sort of, and says, "Yeah, you'll never be one of them." And yeah. then he goes, "All right, yes, I am. I'm going to report you straight away." Another totally element which agree. I didn't really like. Yeah. So I think that would definitely. You Definitely. can change it up in that way. Yeah, yeah. That would make... One of the biggest gripes I had was the lack of the tie into the Nazi plot with it. It was so frustrating to me because I was like, this is just not needed. Mm. And it's partly because they didn't do anything in the first act or two to make it relevant, if you know what I mean. And that would have just absolutely solved that and helped with the whole Lisa or Rolf relationship yeah. at the, the same time. In this one, it was de- I defined what I didn't like and it was the Nazi subplot. I would have probably binned it if we could just had a really good love story. Yeah. But this was a real story. And I suppose the Nazis are, you know, they'll sell you some tickets. So let's include them in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. why don't we make it at least earned? I reckon that, I reckon that Rolf, I reckon that Rolf would have let them go as well. If that, if that, if it would have been a showdown with mm. Lisa, I think it would have definitely, because he almost let them go with, uh, Georg and as far as we know they don't even know each other that like, seems they, they've so, had one interaction that bit seems weird it yeah. seems weird that he did let them go there because it wasn't did. even Liesel who was the one who decided no. to spare them it was so, Georg if he almost did there then you know if it's his fiance 
Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe the level of betrayal that he felt from her leaving could make it even worse. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like if he was like, she's leaving me. Potentially. Yeah, potentially. Like that would be it, humiliating for him. It, it could definitely, it definitely needs to be ironed out and well structured, but I feel like it just gives you more opportunity. I don't think that's a problem with it. I think no. that's a cool way that the plot could potentially go is actually what happens is Rolf goes like, hang on a minute. You're about to break off the divorce. No way. You guys are all going to mm. prison camp or whatever. And, you know. And then if that's what happens, then they still run off. Yeah. And just do the same thing. Or they uh, go to the prison camp. <laughs> Maybe. You can be like we a, don't know. Like a Tarantino ending. We, where we, we change history. And we, <laughs> we murder know. the Von Trapp, oh, yeah. the singing Austrians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's. Yeah. That's been perfectly timed and a bloody good change. Yeah. Are you happy to call it there? You got any final comments? That That's it from me. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Um, if you have an interpretation of how that might change or just anything at all, let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>